Hello, Internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We've arrived at Creepy Steeple, the end of Twilight Trail. Weak! It won't open! <laughs> Smart of them to lock the gates. Unfortunately, that's not going to stop Mario and his amazing tube tasky tube his tube tastic abilities. Also, invisible block on the stairs, but nothing else. Just one coin. Let's go inside. Ooh, how spooky! Also, nice little tunnel you can go through here. We get a Shine Sprite! And we get a cookbook! A rather old cookbook, penned by Meter de Liche. I am so sorry if I mispronounced that star piece back there. And the Ice Smash Badge executes superbly to freeze a foe into immobility. Easy to miss that room. That's just one of many, many secret rooms in this place. <laughs> My friends are all gone! I'm so very lonely! Looks like we can't go for there just yet. My friends have all been taken away, so lonely. Aw, oh, poor guy. Well, this is a very, uh, cryptic place, is it not? Let's push this. Hmm. Here's an interesting looking place. And a very interesting looking chest as well. It's locked from the inside. Let's open the chest. <laughs> okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now when the box opened, how many of us boosts came out? Total, 200. Good, very good. Take this, math nerd. See you, sucker. Yep, if you answer 200, you get a free Ultra Shroom, which is very good. And yes, we can blow this away. Oh yeah, this place is full filled with the hidden rooms. And we get the Flower Saver Badge! Drop FP used when Mario attacks by one. Hey, it's another Flower Saver Badge, that's cool. I knew I should have gotten Flower Saver P! Oh well. I can't remember everything about this game. That's a boo! You think it's one of the boos from that box? Are you going to be mean to me? No! PROMISE?! Come on out, guys! Welcome home, boos! Just be nice to me and I'll be nice to you. Oh ho ho wee ha 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 They are following me. That's not very good. Um... What? Do you mind? Hey! Well, that's not very nice. Oh, one thing I want to check. As I thought. Alright! Shine spray down here, as well as Buzzy Beetles. Um, I said, as well as Buzzy Beetles. <laughs> you remember, we fought a lot of these guys in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. The first half, anyways. Later, Beetle. Not worth fighting. Now if we go in here... Yep! We get the Tornado Jump Badge! Executes superbly to damage all midair enemies. Hey! Uh, 
not what I wanted to do. Definitely not what I wanted to do. Get out of here, X-Knot. I don't want X-Knots in the audience. I guess they still give one star point apiece, so... Oh, great. Here's the guy I wanted to fight. Spike Top. That's a Spike Top. It's a Buzzy Beetle with a spike on its back. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Like other Buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip it over and drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. Luckily, we've got Quake Hammer. I'll dunk on it. <laughs> well, you know what? Piercing blow. Pussy Beetle shells are no match for my hammer. Now, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to fight all of them. Yeah, because all of them hit me. <laughs> Look at all the punies in the audience. Isn't that nice? Except punies are easily frightened away by weird stuff happening. Oh, hello, Mr. Spike Top. I forgot Mario has the Defend Plus badge, so... He doesn't even take damage. Defend Plus badge also only takes 5 BP as opposed to 6. They lowered a lot of the BPs, but then it's like, oh, Money Money takes like 14 and Quick Change takes 7, which is really annoying. Oh! Yikes! Hi. Please don't mind me. Let's push this doorway up here. Most unfortunately, we now can't do anything to get past it. Hey! Hey! Not today. I have fought enough buzzy beetles today. Hey, booze! Why did you carry me out earlier? That was a bit mean, don't you think? So optional mini bots you can do here. Wait for the boost to start grabbing onto you, and then super hammer them away. You'll have to do this a couple times. <gasps> hee hoo hee! You said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Yeah! Oh yeah, it's time. Can't flee this fight. It's Atomic Boo! This is what happens when 200 boos combine together. And of course all boos in the audience, that's great. That's an Atomic Boo! It's a giant boo made up of a ton of smaller boos. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. This fiend will try to smoosh us. It can also split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And when we attack, we might get scared so that we get confused or can't move. I sure wouldn't want to see this fiend standing behind me in the middle of the night. 
creepy. Yeah, you're gonna want to fight this guy as soon as possible, basically. For the star points, and make sure Goombella can tattle. Oh, that's right, I don't have the quick change badge anymore. Uh-oh. That means his next attack is gonna cause us to... Doggone it! Well, he's still frozen, so that's nice. Repel cape? Well, thank you! It's very nice of you. This means, yeah, his next attack is gonna confuse us, which is not gonna be good. Never mind, he just spat boos at us. That's good. Alright, now we're gonna ground pound. Haha! <laughs> nice job, Sid! And that's just enough to give us a level up! Sweet! Alright, time to start leveling up the BP again. Whoa! And this nets us the lucky start badge. Make something good happen when you enter the start of battle. It's not a terrible badge, but it's also not an amazing badge. Alright. Tornado Jump is pretty much not as good as Multi Bounce. In my personal experience. Oh, Hammer Fro only takes one? That's pretty good. Can you charge? Charge is really only great if you have Power Bounce to go with it, though. Let's see, out of all of these, let's do Hammer Fro and Power Jump. And we'll go with Charge. So now we can actually enter through the doors. You can do that as soon as you let all the booze out. Hey! It's Sir Swoop! It's friend. Not actually Sir Swoop. Alright, let's Quake Hammer them. You can like, Quake Hammer them off the ceiling. And let's tattle. That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So anyway, max HP is 6, attack is free, and defense is 0. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. Ouch. It's hard to tell whether they're going to hit Mario or Goombella. Still gives us a star point apiece, so it's worth fighting them. Ouch. Ouch. Not cool. Take that. When can I get Defend plus P? That'll be helpful. Hi! Uh, let's hammer throw the guy on the ceiling. Hammer Fro is very satisfying, even if it's not ama an amazing badge. Dang, I'm just getting a lot of opportunities for bingos, but the bingos aren't happening. Yeah. 
There's a switch there. I'm not uh, necessarily going to push it right now. If we go up this staircase, there's a door. And we fall down here. Yep. Oh, and there are booze in the main room now. Just regular booze. Do you guys still give me star points? Let's find out. This is where you're first supposed to encounter booze. Uh, one apiece, not great. Not terrible, though. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to fight you guys. Later! Alright, now we're gonna hit the switch down here. It's not a, it, instantly apparent what that does. That basically moves the staircase down. Because you'll remember, there were rafters down here. That's exactly what we're going to use. Oh my! Oh, I can't even use my many earthquakes against these. There's a shooting star, but I'm going to save that. Let's clock him out. Oh great! The two with items didn't die. HP will briefly recover. Oh, he didn't use his item. Excellent. I was hoping if I didn't attack him, he wouldn't use his item right away. No! And now he made himself transparent. Great! Mario, that was just seriously terrible. Like, two of those fireballs hit us. Two. Why am I not surprised? Alright, Goombella, we need to heal you up. Here, have a shroom fry. And refund gave me a couple coins back. Sweet. Let's appeal. Make the crowd happy. Mario's like, I'm not scared of a booze anymore. Oh, great. The audience around the daisy passed out. Thank you, Crazy Daisy, for doing that. That was really cool. <laughs> Give it up! I'm not scared of a booze anymore. And that was not worth fighting them at all. Did get a lot of money, though. We got the steeple key over there. Sweet. Alright, now we're going to go into the upper room. Why not? We'll be skipping a lot of enemies later on. Alright, it's time to use some of these earthquakes.
Oh, that actually dealt a lot of damage. Thank you, background, for falling. <laughs> but I did it stylishly. I don't care. Mario's now impervious to anything falling on him because of his Defend Plus badge. That's awesome. Ah! I can't get the action timing down for that. Alright, very well hidden secret here. You see the fence over, uh, beneath these arches? See how there's no fence right here? We can turn sideways and actually walk through the grass. Now we can walk to the right, past here, and there's a golden tree. Which gives us golden leaves! A weird leaf found in Creepy Steeple replenishes 10 FP. These are extremely useful for cooking recipes, so grab a couple of them while you're here. Also, we're going to hit this switch twice to move the... The first time, we'll move the staircase in the middle back up to the middle. And then the second time, we'll move it up even higher than that. And that should lead us to the end of the steeple. But again, not going to the end of the steeple until I get a couple more golden leaves. I think at the very least we're going to need three golden leaves to get every recipe. I might be forgetting some. But just off the top of my head, we're going to need at least three. So, might as well. Actually, four. We're going to need at least four. Oh, I can't carry any more than that. Okay. Uh... Goodbye, Earthquake. Also, we're going to give another mushroom to Goombella, since she needs it. And now we can get Golden Leaf number four. That's the strange leaf of the game. Very well hidden. Alright. Time to do this. Use the steeple key. Gumbella, you're my girl. Ten coins... we don't need it. The boss of this world is a joke. Really easy. Way easier than Macho Grubba. Hey! Hang on there, Slick! What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me! Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost! Of course you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly, am I right? Well alright then, Slick. Fine, yes. I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You big jerk! Why would you do something like that? Well... You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dimwitted all the time. 
So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. HA! Now their pigs get it! Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick! Can't flee this fight. Also, despite this guy being super easy, he has probably my favorite boss theme in the game. This part in particular. Oh wow, how totally bizarre! This vein isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this vein, but it doesn't list a name. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It's apparently really good at transforming itself and other fiends. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs! This fiend is a real jerk! <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck! I guess I'll go down and dirty if you're gonna play like that slick. How dare you attack my partner? Sorry about your furniture, Mr. Duple Ghost. Seriously, this music is so good! Get ready for some Yoshi pounding time, Mr. Duple Ghost. This guy's like a Wii who likes to party. Hmm, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple heavies, huh? Well then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people! Now you're fighting yourself! Ha! I'm a dang genius! Now he is much harder to defend, to defend against. Still not that bad, though. Dang it! <laughs> that was too perfect. Oh, you're gonna have to do better than that, Mr. Duple Ghost. I'll turn back to Goombella just for the ending. I like Goombella. Take that! <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck! Hold on. Wha- wha- Huh? You beat me? Yeah, and that's the boss of Creepy Steeple. A cinch. You got a crystal star! End of chapter! Yeah, chapter 4 is really short. Mario defeated the Scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes, indeed! Wow, are you kidding me? What a total pushover! Well, we got the crystal star, so let's get out of here! Yeah, that's right. He didn't just steal our image, he literally stole our entire body. Now we're the faceless purple Mario. Talk about a twist, huh? I did not see that coming the first time I came here. I figured there had to be more to the boss than that, but... I didn't expect him to literally steal my entire body. That was... That was a bit interesting. This guy's still a joke in battle, but he is a bit annoying. 
And yeah, I'm continuing. Let's go back to Twilight Town. Chase that guy down. The real truck... The, the real truck? What? What was I even trying to say there? <laughs> yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this super bomb here, we, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Good. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. -omb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? I I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you lolly, little lolly gagging worm? I... No, of course not, Beldum. Well, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you were such an idiot. Very well, I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I to go take a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I... I get punished. That's right, you little twit! So get cracking! Come, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Go. Dane. Gotta really feel bad for Vivian. She has, like, the worst sisters. Almost forgot about that. There's not one on the other side, is there? I don't think so. Yeah. So what I was trying to say before I said truck by mistake is the the real hard part about this uh, section, you don't have any partners. So you're going to want to avoid all enemies. Easier said than done because Twilight Trail has a lot of really annoying to reach enemies. <laughs> I also like how you are actually a pitch black silhouette in the background now. These crazy daisies, these guys are the toughest ones to avoid. Mmm, pass. Also... I could unequip all of my partner-related badges, but then I'll probably forget to turn them on. Yeah, this that guy is, like, impossible to avoid. Um, no. Hard pass. <laughs> that was weird. I did a nice little spin. Yeah, Mario's literally pitch black in the background. That's pretty cool. Nice touch. Also, tubing around makes you go pretty fast. You just have a really bad turning. Yeah, I don't want to fight any of you guys. Later! Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name! And I really dig this body, too! Man, can I jump now! And hey, you're so popular around here! I get mobbed! I just love being you! Yeah, it's so cool, I don't think I ever want to stop! So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough, either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to run, ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Your name is obviously Jerkwad, because you are a Jerkwad. Ronamundo, little nobody! Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. 
Yuck, yuck, yuck! And don't even think about running from battle, you hear? No running! Well... Yeah, we can't damage him. But he also can't damage us, so we're at a standstill. Let's run away. It didn't say we couldn't. He said we couldn't, but what does he know? Oh, that's no fun. Hey, dude. Now that Mario took care of that curse monster, I don't have to guard the gate. But here I am doing it anyway. Yeah, just to keep the weirdos out, you know. Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. Well, that's a little harsh. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, that perfect red cap. Those scuffed blue overalls. He's the absolute best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? Oh, jeez. I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig. But being a crow would be okay. Because then I could fly. No one's ever heard of a flying pig. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. And the shop's open for business now. You got interesting things like Thunder Ages, Spite Pouches, which briefly does half damage to all foes who attack directly. That's an interesting one. Stopwatches. I do not lie. Please say something. Madame. I mean, you. No, um, arm. Oh, wow. Oh, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband at all. This guy is younger and cuter than my husband, actually. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded in for a new husband. Oh, I'm only fooling. Greetings, welcome to the Twilight Shop. What do you need? Well, I need you to store some stuff for me. All of my golden leaves, please. And my Ultra Shroom. And my Shooting Star. And my Dried Bouquet. <laughs> and, uh... My Jam and Jelly. That'll do it. Thank you. So yeah, apparently this guy was the pig that she thought was her husband, and her husband, obviously, was not cool with that. I collect the goods and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. Yeah, but these prices are kind of outrageous. The spite pouch is reasonably priced. But not the life shroom and stuff. The moon granted my wish! I never turned into a pig! Someone living on the moon must have heard my wish. Do you, who do you think lives there? Uh, Princess Peach. <laughs> Too funny! You must be a dreamer. What an imagination! The curse was oink lifted. That Mario sure was oink something, wasn't he? Ah, I can't stop oinking. What should I oink do? Um, see somebody. Oh, I guess outsiders can turn into pigs because these were the free pigs earlier. Hey, we are the Traveling Sisters Free! Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs! But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Oh, my. Mommy, I'm hungry, pork chops. Wow. Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. At least she's not, like, insulting me to my face. That's nice. <laughs> What'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. You know, you can get through anything if you have good memories to cling to. Now if I can just figure out how my days as a pig qualify as good memories. Um, they don't. We're free! Yes! We're no longer pigs! I say yoink! No more oink! I just want to see... You know, people often say that my shadow is faint, but yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow! No offense or anything. Okay, so half the villagers are really mean, and half of them are very nice. Oh my gosh! My partners are in here! I never kn What?! Okay, I have literally never been in here before as a shadow. That's amazing. Uh, Gonzalez, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. <laughs> My, 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 Mario, you're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Um, Mario, 
You seem kind of different. I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you, like, never talk. Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. <laughs> Hey! Ha! Whoa! Hey! Wow! Look at me! Look at me! It's -a me, Mario! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is amazing! I've never been in here before. Now, who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario is visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. <laughs> I love how they're, you're like your partner's like, no, something is up. But he's actually doing a pretty good job of impersonating me. You want to move in here? A shadow like you, you'd fit right in. Know what I mean? Oh, you're very nice, miss. Thank you. Hey, dude. Oink, 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 oink. I'm practicing for pig time. If I go to the swine side, I'm going to be more positive. There's no more pig curse? You're kidding. Could you give me some of the time alone? Pfft. Hey, sure, man. I'm not even here. Let's go back to Rogueport. For some reason, you can't enter the pipe! Yeah, because he stole my body, which had my name on it, and I don't have a name anymore. So? That's not good. Hey! I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. But it's just not here. Let's look around. Gotta be around here somewhere. Here it is! You got the Super Bomb Bomb! Won't Vivian be punished if she doesn't find this? Hey, Vivian! Have the Super Bomb Bomb! What? You found it? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Oh no! It's... it's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks. You're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. But what do I do now? My sisters will be back any minute now. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Why won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't! Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy! Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were so worried about me the whole time? That's so... kind. Alright, that's it! I'm going to help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends! Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> Aw. So, <laughs> here we go. Vivian has joined your party! Bet you didn't see that coming. Vivian's abilities. A primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. I was like, that's weird, I thought I saw someone there, but I guess not. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist, or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil move. Vivian is probably my favorite partner in the game, she's really good. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh hey, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen in on conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. Yeah, we can spy on birds now. Alright, so basically you get to the talk balloon. Cough, cough, cough! 
And then... So I was chatting with Rot Beak at Mushroom Town on Instant Messenger yesterday, and he said he just got Fiber Network on his home network. Can you believe that? Rad, I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing that Fever Club for Crow site at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away, all this information age hype you hear about. And yet it's all games and Fever Lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think the tech bus survivors could fry if they get viable business models. <laughs> wow, she was Vivian was not kidding. The birds are very well informed. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. For those of you not in the know, that was me trying to do free of the crow's voices from the Matameo audiobook. Do <laughs> and it did not turn out very well at all. I apologize. <laughs> All right, you crows. What's the scoop? Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers flow. Oh, good luck on the SATs. Those are no fun. Even though I took the ACTs, so I don't really know. Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mute mundanity. Man, these guys have some deep philosophical uh, veins they're talking about. Yes, I'm a novelist. It's not all that easy on the eyes, but I read by moonlight. So what kind of books do you like anyway? Oh, <laughs> strategy guides, have to say that. Shouldn't you spend your time reading something a little more worthwhile? Can I do that again? Okay, if I'm being perfectly honest, I, fantasy is definitely my favorite. Suspense? Romance? Okay, mister, you are terrible. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So I wonder how all this is going to end up then. <laughs> Did you hear that? If we search under Creepy Steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple! Okay, but we're gonna have to do that in the next episode, because this episode ran very long. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. to the next time! Actually, we could potentially finish up Twilight Town next episode, because it's basically just a lot of backtracking for Twilight Trail. Hope to see you then, have a great day, and God bless.